Hi everyone, Ryan here from Make A Scene again. Got another tutorial for you showing you how to paint one of our resin cast pieces. Today we're going to be tackling the sacrificial altar. I'm going to show you how to get it from looking like this to this. Let's get to the bench. Now unfortunately my data was corrupted so it actually cut out me getting my base layers down. But for my stone colour, all I've done is mixed black and white with a khaki beige and added a drop of yellow just to give it a slightly older look. For the ground around the base, I'm just using a burnt umber paint straight out of the pot, no mixing needed here. Just being careful when getting closer to all the stonework. Some of the smaller rocks I do go over, but we'll be picking them out in the next step. Now to pick out all those rocks I'm going to be using a mix of black and white just to make a darker grey than the colour we've used for the stonework. Now for the wash I've just got my own mix of watered down black paint with a little bit of flow improver in it. Now I know not everyone has flow improvers but you can easily get away with just using watered down black paint for this step. As you can see I'm just covering the whole model in this, making sure it gets into all those recesses, bringing out all the details. Now at this point it built up a little bit too much so I'm just scooping it out of those wells. Now for this step I'm just using that khaki beige that was part of the stone mix that we used at the beginning. Just giving it a dry brush all over the model just to give it a slightly more weathered look. Now I wanted mine to be a blood altar so I'm using a citadel technical paint called Blood for the Blood Gods. And I'm just putting this in the wells themselves, down the channels, and dotting it around on the floor where I want it. Now to pick out the vines I'm going to be using Citadel's XV88 paint. Just being careful here not to go over the stonework. Okay, to pick out all those leaves around the vines, I'm using Lauren Forest. Pretty standard, just picking out all the leaves with this colour. Now for the wash, I'm going to be using Bile Tan Green. We'll be going over the leaves and the vines in this step just brings the vines down from a brown to a nice green hue. Now for the leaves I'm going to be using Elysian Green. In this step you want to go either side of each leaf, making sure you leave the dark green visible in the centre. By leaving that dark green line in the centre, this is the effect you'll get. Now 
now just to highlight the vines, I'm going to be using a Shabdi Bone. This will make the vines pop a little bit better. And to get this effect, it's just a quick, simple dry brush. Now because I've painted this as a blood altar, I felt it needed some extra details. So what I'm going to do is add a pile of skulls at the back here. These are from the Citadel range that I primed in white earlier on. Once you've got the amount that you want, it's just a case of super gluing them all in position. If you've painted yours up differently, or you don't have these skulls, you can always just skip this step. Like I say, my skulls were primed in white, and all I'm going to do here is wash them in Seraphim Sepia. And just to finish those skulls off, I'm going to do a quick dry brush of a Screaming Skull, and then I'm just going to add a little bit more of the Blood for the Blood Gods paint just to finish it off, as you can see here. Now for the basing, all I'm going to use is PVA glue here. Any white glue would do. And all you need to do is put it around your model where you want your static grass. my static grass I'm using a blend of World War Scenic's Summer and Dead Grass and once you've got your mix together it's just a case of pouring it over your model where you've put your glue. Once I'd finished the model I gave it a coat of matte varnish but that dulled the blood in the wells so all I'm using here is a bit of Ard Coat to bring the shine out again. So there we have it, thanks again for watching, hope you enjoyed it. For a full list of paints and materials they'll be down in the description box below, along with a link to our website where you can find all of our products and even commission information in case you don't have the time to do it yourself. Last but not least, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on your notifications for more videos and painting tutorials. Thanks again for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Here at Maker's Scene, we love designing and making new terrain features for our tables like the one you've just watched. So if you'd like to support us further so we can keep doing what we love, you will also find our Patreon below.